Welcome. Systems check. System all clear. Initiating startup protocol. Welcome trivia and crypto degenerates. Access granted. Enjoy the descent into this immersive game of knowledge. There we go. We're live as always. Welcome, everybody. What's going on tonight? Oh, not much. Uh, Kyle did all the questions tonight, so I'm curious to see how the game goes. What do we got? Do we have anything in particular? Is it? Uh, I think if I remember right. Hold on. Let me see. Yeah, I think it's all it's all grab bag. It's all just random. Good. You know what? I like that. I I'm going to play, too, on my phone and see how i do hopefully i can do a little better than i did last time i stunk it up so i say let's i say i say let's do it i'm sitting here in the background looking at the uh lego star wars that's on my xbox (laughs) there waiting to be played afterwards so i'm saying let's let's do it doesn't play itself oh the new lego star wars uh game came out and it's fantastic it really is really is All right, yeah, without further ado, let's get started. I'm, like I said, I'm going to play along, see how we do. Let's see. Get my pad and pen. There we go. There we go. Come on. There we go. I'll let you start off, Kyle. Since I'm going to be All right. Sounds good. playing along. <laughs> Jerry says nine uh, ninety four in San Fernando Valley today. Yeah, it was, was like actually here. As you say, it was pretty nice here. It was yeah, like fifty five, sixty, like perfect. Ninety four. Holy cow! All right, number one. Start off a little bit simple. What is Hawkeye's name? Kip Barton, Clive Barton, Clint Barton, or Cliff Barton? Obviously, Hawkeye, Hawkeye from the MCU, the Marvel Universe. <coughs> Steph says she's jealous. See, ninety four is too hot. <laughs> that's pretty. That's pretty toasty. I uh... Dan and I were saying today, like, what whatever it was today, like sixty, perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yep. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So it looks like. Everybody got this. It is Clint Barton. If I could get like, I don't know, 60 to 80 degrees to me, like I actually don't mind like a, I don't mind like an 85 degree or 90 degree day. Um, if it's broken up in between with like, I just don't like a heat wave where it's like 95 for like a week straight. Yeah, no. I would agree. And there's got to be like good air conditioning close by as you get really hot. Yes. <laughs> Uh, all right, number two. In what year was the first episode of South Park aired? 98, 97, 96, or 95? No humidity, yeah. Uh, I don't mind. See, I don't mind humidity. Uh, we were in Florida in, in August, and it really wasn't that bad. Like, there's times where you're just like, you're hot, and you need to get inside. Because you're always in the moving stuff, but I guess like in a place like that, everywhere is air conditioned in Florida. Everywhere's got like central air, so like it's really it's pretty manageable. So, all right, kind of all over the place on that one. So every every answer got somebody to go with it, but yes, it was 1997. I've never really been a big South Park fan. Like there's there's certain clips where it is kind of funny, um, but the mm-hmm. majority of it, like I, I don't think I've ever actually. Seen I just can't get I can't get into it a ton. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Number three. In which year did Usain Bolt set his 100 meter in 9.58 seconds world record? 2010, 2009, 2008, or 2007? That says, Dan, don't pretend like you like hot weather. No, hear me out. Like I said, if like our house, um, if it's like I, I have a very hard time cooling down after. So like if I can sit somewhere where I do too. Cool. See, I like it either nice and like I like it. I don't mind it hot outside, but if it can go in and it's like, 
you know what? I'm just going to cut the bullshit. I like it when it's like 45 to 60. I do too. That's All right, that's so, my preference. So this right here actually was a trick question. So he initially set it in 08 at the uh, Beijing Olympics. However, he uh-huh. broke his own record the following year at the World Championships. Uh, you got me on. It looks like you got a lot of people on that. Tricky trick. I like it. Yep. That's right. No holds bar. <laughs> All right, number four. How many parts, including screws and bolts, does the average car have? 50,000, 30,000, 15,000, or 100,000? Hmm. See if we have any car guys or car gals out there. I am not at all. I went. Steph says, Steph says Dan turns the air on in the car when it's 30 out. Hey, I, I do that too. I, I will say. I get it warmed up, but then I get to the point where I get too hot, and then uh, and then I have to turn the air on. Yep. And I'm not I'm not really a windows down kind of guy. I got to have the air on. I don't mind, so I I like to do both. I don't, I don't mind windows down sometimes, but when the windows are down, I still have to have the air on. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> I'm a savage like that. Yep. <laughs> All right. Wow. Okay. More people got that than I thought, but again, every answer had somebody going with it. So this is going to be an interesting round. 30,000 parts. All right. Latching on to the, uh, the car questions again. What year was the Corvette introduced? 73, 63, 53, or 43. That's right. Jerry's Jerry says I got I got some trickery. I do. I, th- I think I had a few more of them in there too. So I went with 53 on this one. Um I don't know. Okay, as you say, I don't know of the Corvette really being around in the 40s. I know it was around in the 50s. Mm-hmm. And obviously definitely in the 60s and 70s, but more people got that than I thought would. I I, I kind of figured that one was going to be a toss up between. I, I figured fifty three and sixty three. So at least those were the two that did get the most answers. Yes. Okay, so obviously I'm not going to count myself because I do have like a three second head start on everyone else for questions. So my my time does not count. Uh, <laughs> so it looks like Curtis gets a point, Joey gets a point, and Kevin. Going into round number two, you know we should never. We we should never. We should have played like every game and like like whoever makes the questions, the other person plays, and then like we don't. We shouldn't have told anyone that we have like a three second lag and be like, oh Oh, yeah, we 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 definitely should have. Just super super smart. Ooh, okay. We could have created a fake account. (laughs) We're we're like we're we're some guy. From uh, from overseas or something like that yeah. that ends up just dominating yeah. everybody. Yeah, this Dolph guy from Germany is just <laughs> destroying everybody. Seems to know all the questions. All right, how many soccer players should each team have on the field at the start of each match? Nine, twelve, eleven, or ten? Steph says, "Where's the bat cave?" So we actually were just <laughs> talking about that right before we got on. Uh, Dan forgot that he left his mic uh, in his mail drawer at the store. Yeah, that's right. Keep I keep it here in safekeeping, and I was so sad because I really wanted to show off the back cave. It's looking pretty darn good, if I say so myself. It is looking really good. Films. Yeah, very and then nice I, I had a I had a new light that I was going to try out down here tonight to change things up a little bit, and I was just telling Dan uh, right before this it like exploded. Yeah, I plugged it in yeah. the light. It was like an L- one of those LED ones, and it like flickered. And then there was like, it just like went out and I looked and it was like the inside of it was all black and like all the wires were singed. I was like, oh, well, that's not good. You know what they should test? They should test how many parts out of a car you can take out of 30,000 parts before it like, obviously not big things like engine (laughs) or transmission, but like screws and stuff. All right. Which hockey team did Wayne Gretzky play for in the 80s? Sabres, Rangers, Oilers, or Kings? So he played for three out of these four teams um, in kind of very distinct time frames. Mm-hmm. 
I originally put two, and then I quickly switched it to, I believe it's the Oilers he played for. And then I think in the early 90s, he switched over to the Rangers, right? Uh, Oilers, then Kings, then Rangers. Then Kings, then Rangers. Okay. Yep. Does he own part of the Kings? Is that right? Uh, Coyotes, I think. Coyote. Okay. Yep. Ugh, why? Well, well, he did. I don't. I don't know if he still does or not. I know he did. I mean, oh, it didn't count. My I switched it. I switched from two to three. Damn it! All right, you know, just getting... it's all right. I can live with that. Yeah. So he went. He went. Oilers. Then Kings were like early '90s, and then Rangers were like mid to later '90s. Which nation was said to invent hot dogs? U.S., Hungary, Germany, all Bor- Bulgaria. <laughs> so, what type of hot dog? Because there's there's different type. Are you talking about just like a normal like Wiener Schnitzel or like an American hot dog? Because I feel like American hot dogs are. I put I put Germany with my thinking being you know like with the the Wiener Schnitzel, but so it is it is Germany. Um... Yes. I thought I'd get more people with Hungary. I got a, I got a couple, but I just feel like a nation that's named Hungary would be like the perfect inventor of the hot dog. <laughs> I did get somebody with Bulgaria. I feel like Bulgaria is not really known for like anything. I feel like Hungary, I think like Hungarian meatballs are like the only thing that I can think of. Mm, yeah. Or what's the difference between Hungarian meatballs and Swedish meatballs? I don't know. It's a good question. All right, which bone are babies born without? Scapula, kneecap, elbow, or collarbone? I'm gonna go kneecap because I feel like Bailey even still now has like rounded knees. It's kind of I like playing with them. <laughs> I like squeeze them and play with them because they they're so malleable and so fluffy and cute. So I just like playing with their knees. So it is, it is kneecaps. Um, let's see. What, what are the when, second? When do babies answer? get kneecaps? Uh, does Lyle have, does Lyle have kneecaps? I, oh. All right, a lot more people got that than I thought. I thought for sure. Um, wow. Okay, I thought collarbone would actually get more more than it did. Oh, Hungarian goulash. I didn't think about goulash. I like you know goulash is something I haven't had probably. Wow, I should have yeah, I should have known that Tess makes Hungarian goulash. I made goulash since honestly like high school and cafeteria, and I actually always liked goulash. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh about how many times does the heart beat per day? Fifty five hundred thousand, fifty thousand, hundred thousand, or one million. Hmm. Yeah, Hungarian goulash slaps. Uh Tess makes it really good. It's like it's different though, because like anytime I'd ever had goulash before at least i think it had like a sauce on it and everything too um but uh hers is like a it's like a dry goulash but it's it's really good with like ground beef in it and then um trying to think cumin or something like that in it too but it's it's really good i did a little better i did a little better that round um hundred thousand beats a day so on average, of course, because you're going to have people like I feel like the funny thing is the people who actually exercise more over time have a slower heart resting heart rate, even mm-hmm. though it goes up when yep. they're working out and stuff. I feel like people that are in better shape have a lower heart rate that, you know, resting. So Jerry says dry goulash. Yeah, that doesn't sound right to me. Oh, we had a few. I don't know, but it's really good. Yeah, I thought it I thought it was it was strange the first time, but then I tasted it. I'm like, OK, this slaps. <laughs> It, it's good. So we got three new ones now. So we got Brooke, Stephanie, and Stephanie all on the board, along with Kev, Joey, and Curtis, all with one apiece, going into round three. I thought my four would be enough. I was wrong. There we go. That's what we were missing first round, the full screen. It's just not the same without it. That was my problem. That's why yep. I didn't do it well. So going back to warm and dry weather, I can't. I don't understand why um, we haven't invented like domes to just put over top of things. We can live in a big like biodome, like the movie Biodome. Good point. Well, Jerry says he needs Dan questions. 
<laughs> well, we'll have them on Monday. Oh, boy. All right, number one, which city in India would you find the Taj Mahal in? Mumbai, Kolkata, Delhi, or Agra? Agra is actually one of the co-founders of Viagra. So you have <laughs> first name, Vi, you know, you have the, the one guy's name was Vi and the other one was Agra. All right. Well, Jerry's Jerry's uh, coming in strong to start off this round. He's the only one that got this that actually is in Agra. Hmm. I've never even heard of Agra. I've heard of the other three. So I just see want, the first I, thing I thought of. First thing Dan thinks of is Viagra. First thing I thought of was uh, Agraba from Aladdin because Lila just watched it yesterday. <laughs> I guess that says a lot about both of us, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, look at that, Jerry. The only one that gets it. All right, number two. What's the name of the thin and long country that spans more than half the western coast of South America? Peru, Colombia. Chile or Argentina? I legitimately have, I, I legitimately think that I have answered three for almost every question. Hmm. And uh, I'm trying to remember when I haven't answered three. I think there was one I answered four. But I think every other, oh, and two. I've done a couple twos. Like the car one was 30,000. I think that was two. But three has been like 80% of my answers. I'm not saying they're all right because they aren't. I think I'm like seven out of ten so far. Hmm. Must be the game really is liking uh, number three for the answers tonight. Hmm. Wonder if that will continue. I am glad we don't have to come up with numbers because I would definitely do like one round where it's all threes mm -hmm. just to mess with people. So it's probably good that oh, yeah. it doesn't have a. All right, number three, how many pyramids of Giza were made? Two, three, four, or five? Everybody's all over the place on this one. Hmm. You know, our uncle. What did you go with, Dan? I went with five. So there are three pyramids of Giza. Damn. Well, there has was there always three, or is it just uh mm, that I don't know to be honest with you. Stuff says Dan. That was Richard, actually, that was actually a game question right there. Before Most of them I made, the but that was actually a game one. Stuff says that my answer's coming before the question. Well, you know, I'm you can't take my you can't take my answer for granted. That's for sure because uh, I've I think I'm now uh, seven for eleven or twelve. Uh, number four, JFK was assassin uh, assassinated in which city? San Antonio, Houston, Dallas, or Austin? So you know what's funny about that is because we come from a small town, so I never understood why. Um, there was a school textbook depository building, like building multi-level where they just store school books. And I'm like, what the hell is that for? Not thinking about, cause like we come from a, you know, county of like, I don't know, 5,000 people. Yeah. So, I think my, my graduating class, there was 57 of us and only 45 graduated. So, <laughs> yeah. So it's interesting, uh, to think that there's entire buildings. I'm sure there still is, but. Even like in 1963, there was entire buildings for school textbooks. Mm -hmm. And I say that because that's where uh, um, Lee Harvey Oswald was. I think he was like on the third floor or something, but he worked yeah, there. I think you're right. Uh, all right. Number five. What was the name of the rock band form, uh, formed by Jimmy Page? ZZ Top, The Doors, Led Zeppelin, or ACDC? Wow, everybody jumping on three on that one. I've never been a big Led Zeppelin fan. I don't honestly I don't know that I would have gotten that. I would have known it wasn't ACDC. 
Um, I would have known it wasn't ZZ Top, so it probably to me would have been between two and three. So I probably would have been able to to narrow it down a little bit, but um, I'm just not a big Led Zeppelin fan. Yeah, they're okay. I don't mind a few songs. Yeah, um, yeah, they've got a few songs that I I like to listen to, but I just, eh. Like I I think um, immigrant song. I don't think the funny thing is I don't think it's actually a good song. But it goes so well with like Thor Ragnarok because mm-hmm. like, yep. and I actually kind of like the song because of that reason. But I wouldn't say it's a good song. Yeah, which is funny. I yep. don't know. Can't really describe it. Um. Okay, so Jerry's on the board now with one. Uh, Joey has got two. Whoops, mark that down. I, I struggle writing down two and eight. Two and eight. I really sh- and three. Two, eight, and three. I just have terrible handwriting in general. Um. <laughs> And Curtis with two. So we got Curtis and Joey in the lead with two going in round four. Kev, Stephanie, Stephanie, Brooke, and Jerry all with one apiece. See, Stairway to Heaven to me is overrated. That's just my opinion. I've never really enjoyed that song too much, and I don't know why. So who's – yeah, I'm, I'm the same way. Yeah, I don't know. Led Zeppelin, meh. Jerry says he hates Led Zeppelin. <laughs> Stairway to Heaven's horrible. <laughs> yeah, I <laughs> like that. Yep. All right. Who wrote Old Man in the Scene is considered one of the greatest writers of the 20th century? Mark Twain, Ernest Hemingway, F. Scott Fitzgerald, or old Bill Faulkner? I have read more William Faulkner in college because my, my um, main <coughs> professor and also my advisor in college loved William Faulkner and I did an entire class on studying William Faulkner and <laughs> I can honestly say I I didn't mind the sound and the fury but I think I don't understand what all the fuss was about personally but William I've Faulkner, never read any Faulkner made up a, his own fake county and all of his kind of like Stephen King where most of his books are take place in Maine all of William Faulkner's took place in this one county in Mississippi. Hmm. And yeah, just not not crazy. Like, didn't love it, but. All right, question number two. When was the company Nike founded? 1978, 1974, 1971, or 1965? Uh. So this is an educated guess. I don't I know pretty well the timeline of Nike and the fact that they used the waffle iron to make the first <laughs> few cleats, which is really cool. Yep. Yeah. And it makes you wonder if that's something you could still today. I feel like the waffle irons, if you bought it from like Walmart, it's not gonna get hot enough to do it. <laughs> Apparently in the 70s, the waffle irons got really fucking hot. Yep. So Phil Knight. Um, and I believe it's Bill Bowerman or Bowerman or however they say it, but, um, uh, they, so they founded Nike and originally it was only supplying shoes to university of Oregon and it was just for their track team. And then just kind of grew from there once they started needing new demographics to go after. All right. What, uh, animals on Levi's logo, sheep, lamb, horse, or badger, dude, they should have a badger. Who has That's a what I'm saying? Who what logo has a badger? Because you got like the Wolverine. Wisconsin. Well, no, I'm saying like a like a textile or does anyone have a badger? Oh yeah. Um hmm. well there was badger sports I used to deal with when I had the t-shirt company. Badger Dude, sports. Badger made, would be so cool. They made uh good, you know, pretty nice pretty nice quality t-shirts. And we that's where we made our of the jerseys. That's where we got our indoor ones one time. They were pretty nice. We've always said that Buffalo needs a basketball team. Yep. And we would call them the Buffalo Badgers. I, or I said if Syracuse ever got a, a professional team, it could be the Syracuse Kraken. Now, do you, are you stealing? Do, would people – I mean, I get it. There's plenty of teams that have – like in different sports and stuff that have the same names. But I do love the Kraken. Kraken's a cool name. I do too. That's just a great name. All right, when did construction on the Empire State Building start? 1940, 1939, 
A lot of people going with 29. Well, so I believe it was finished in 1933. King Kong mm-hmm. came out in 1933, yep. and they wanted to show off the Empire State Building, which was at the time the largest skyscraper ever, and it took four years to complete. So I was going with some re- reverse mathematics. I think right after that, they so Rockefeller Center was right after the Depression began and everything, they started construction on Rockefeller Center because they had started the Empire State Building, and then I think it was like a year to two years later they started Rockefeller Center. You got a couple of people saying Empire State Building was was uh, 1930. Oh, sorry. Anyway, what is the smallest size bed available in the United States? A uh, twin, extra small, a twin, a mini twin, or a full? Now I got to look. Th- I'm curious now. I got to look this up. No, it does say 1930. Steph says she's going with the furniture people. Yeah, so there actually is no no such thing as a mini twin or a twin extra small. We should small. we should have a mini twin. Well, actually, so technically, <laughs> technically, the smallest bed available actually would be a crib mattress. Yeah, that doesn't, dude. Those things but are not a mattresses stand, for a standard size. Yes, twin. Crib mattresses sh- shouldn't count because crib mattresses are just awful. Terrible. <laughs> yeah, they All are. Right, um, <clears throat> Steph Sample now has two. Mama S gets on the board. And Curtis uh, has three. So Curtis takes the lead with three points. But he'll always know that I beat him, technically. Curtis, can you really <laughs> consider that winning? If I technically beat you. Yeah, because as it stands right now, Curtis would be like LeBron on the outside looking in. Yeah, but the (laughs) NBA, which is us, changing the rules to give him a point. Uh, (laughs) Jerry says a crib wouldn't be considered a bed mat. Yeah, it's it's true. A crib is not really a bed. Yeah, that's true. (laughs) (laughs) All right, so Curtis has got the lead with three. Joey's got two, and Steph Sample's got two in second place. And then we got a slew of people. Jerry, Mama S, Brooke, Steph, and Kev, all with one apiece in third place. Going into the final round, and then, I, I Kyle, did you get a bonus? Uh, yes. <laughs> 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 yeah, so Buffalo were the Buffalo Braves for a long time, until I think yeah. 1971, yeah. and then uh, um, that – scumbag uh donald sterling bought them and moved them to san diego to become the, eventually become the los angeles clippers yep oh uh before the laws were changed in 2000 how long was a french president's term seven years years 12 years or 10 years see that's the thing they need a basketball team back they already got key bank center it's a perfect venue Mm-hmm. and they mm-hmm. already play a bunch of NCAA championship stuff there anyway. Exactly. Honestly, Buffalo fans are like just rabid between Bills and Sabres. I mean, the Bills up until like three years ago were just always awful. The Sabres have <laughs> their years, but like they always stick by their Buffalo teams. Mm-hmm. Got to have an NBA team. Give us, you know what? Bring back the Braves even. I don't even care. I don't love the name Braves, but bring it back. I'd be a huge fan. Badgers is way cool. I would agree. The Badgers is just alpha. (laughs) So French president's term was seven years. Why seven years? It's just weird. That just seems so random. Um, All right, number two. World War I began with the death of Archduke Franz Ferdinand of which country? Sweden, Romania, Poland, or Austria? This is actually a question we had, uh, I don't know, about a, two months ago. I was thinking that we did. I just had different answers for uh, I had different answers for it. Steph Sample says the Danimal logo. They could, you know, if, oh, oh okay. the Buffalo Danimals. No, what could be, what's a, what's a D-named town that we live near? The city. What's a D-named city in New York? Is there any? Probably none. 
Yeah, Norris. Um, not not like big cities. Huh. Yeah, you got like Dansville, um, but like that's like population two hundred. So. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think there's any mm. like bigger cities with man. That's all right. Number three, what is a female donkey called? Rue, Jenny, Fiona, or Dolly? Ooh, Buffalo Blizzard. I kind of like that. That's not a bad Ooh, one. Yeah. Buffalo weather is like 90% of the time shitty because it's coming from your right on the lake. So they're getting the lake effect snow. They're getting all these. You just it's always just bad weather. But what I will say is the most beautiful buildings. I'm a building guy. The most beautiful building I've ever been in my entire life was when I got pulled over in Buffalo and I had to go back for an appearance ticket for a <laughs> traffic violation. And uh the county bill or the town hall there is absolutely like draw hits the floor gorgeous it's like a 1920s um like art deco style building oh my god i want to go back uh number four which bug symbolizes good luck in europe roach mantis ladybug or beetle hmm can you imagine if a roach symbolized good luck? Well, I'm hoping it's not a roach. I put ladybug, but like, if you had cricket in there, I actually may have gone with that just because of Mulan. I know. Oh, that's I should have wanted cricket. Yeah, I should have put you know, that in China, there. But like, I'm not even sure if that's a thing. Is that even a thing in real life, or is that just a Disney thing? Oh, I have no idea. But cricket, cricket would have, I think, gotten some people for sure. Mm-hmm. So it is a ladybug. I figured, I figured people wouldn't go with that because. In the U.S., it kind of is too. Like that's no know, one's given the good luck thing. The lowly beetle. Yep. Yep. Beetle got beat out by the roach. The buffalo roaches. The buffalo beetles. <laughs> uh, all right, number five. Do sponges have hearts? Yes or no? Depends. If it's SpongeBob, then yeah, SpongeBob's got a big heart. <laughs> Stop it. He said if Elmire had a team, it'd be the Elmire lice. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta shave your head when you're done with us. <laughs> the bed bugs. <laughs> uh, nah, that's more like Cortland. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. I said they don't, and I, that was a complete guess. I honestly don't know, and that was right down the middle, it looks like. Um, sponges do not have hearts, except for the cartoon I still watch as a 29-year-old man. Good old SpongeBob. I'm going to be like 85 and still watch SpongeBob and laugh, about, <laughs> laugh when I watch it because it's hilarious. Jerry says, who is Elmira? Yeah, uh, it's a city near us. It's, hey, it's where Mark Twain had a summer home. That's like their one claim to fame, I feel like. Yeah, well, Ernie Davis, yeah. too. Yeah, but it, yeah, I mean, Ernie Davis, but I feel like Mark Twain's got a lot more like stuff in the area for him. Um, so Dirk mm -hmm. is on the board. Didn't Dirk get points already before? Maybe not. I, I thought know. so. I thought so too, but I didn't get him down. So someone correct me if I'm wrong if Dirk did get points. Kev's got two now, and Bobby's on the board with one. So going into the final round, the the bonus. Where do you see this super secret bonus? It's so super secret, I don't remember what it is. Oh, boy. Uh, so Curtis has got three. Joey's got two. Um, oh, yeah. Kevin's That's got Tommy Hilfiger. Yeah, I guess we should have remembered that. Yeah, Brian Williams. Um, I think kind of like grew. He didn't wasn't born in Elmira, but I think he did grow. Like he like lived in Elmira. I feel like for like a couple of years, mm -hmm. and they like tried attaching that. I don't know. Oh boy. Ah <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. How many cards are in a deck of Uno? 
134, 124, 120, or 108. Hell, Roach from Little Rat. Does that really count? Like, I'm sorry, but if you're in like one movie, <laughs> does that really well, that's count? Like, it's, not uh, like, it's not like it's like fucking Tom Cruise or so, which who's from Syracuse, but. Well, that's um, like um, who's the guy that's from Hornell? Like he's on like all their signs as you get close to Hornell, like birthplace of um, oh, what the heck is his name? He was an actor that was in like two movies. I don't. Which know. hey, you know, it's two. It's two more movies than I'll ever be in. So yeah, you know that's cool. But but it's just I don't. know. To me, it's like okay, you were in Little Rascals, which you know, hey, whatever, that's cool. But that's just a weird thing to. I don't know. Richard Gears from Syracuse. Huh. And Jerry says Cornell has that suicide break. They, yes, they do. And honestly, I've seen like where the people like jump off into it. And I that would be absolutely terrifying. Is that thing's it's like a canyon down there. Oh yeah. Um, so Curtis gets the extra point, which doesn't matter, right? Curtis was on fire today, scoring four points. In second place, we got Steph Sample and Joey and Kev, all with two apiece. And then we got Dirk, Steph, Brooke, Jerry, Mama S, and Bobby, all with one apiece. That was a good game. A lot of yeah, people well, uh, so so cold they jump. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. That's actually because they just live in Ithaca probably. But... Uh, <laughs> All right, so guys, uh, we'll see you guys on Monday, same time, same place. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And uh, let us know if you have any suggestions on any rounds you want us to cover, any specific things. So, But let it, let us know in the comments. Let's, do a, spe- let's do a specific one for Monday. Just one whole thing or just different rounds and just specific? I, I'm itching for like a uh, just one full game. Uh, on once, something. Like, yep. Okay. Let's okay. name that tune. The whole thing, name that tune? All right, but you know, here's the thing: it doesn't always have to be songs. It could be name the band, name oh, yeah. the hit wonder, yeah, name, yeah. Yeah, yeah. name the song. It could be all that. All right, Jerry says buildings. Buildings would be a fun. That's a fun like Ooh. round we could do. I like that. That would be cool. All right, guys, we'll see you on Monday. All right, and, uh, yeah. Have a good night. <laughs> have a great night, guys.